Is it yummy? Shiloh! Do you like pepper? Mmm! Tasty! Mom! Papa! Oh yeah? Where's Papa? Um, sandwiches. Good morning. We are having quite a slow morning today because yesterday um, Shiloh started having a little bit of a stuffy nose and by the afternoon Malachi, Azuri, Shiloh, and I all were feeling like we were coming down with a little bit of cold, so excuse me if my voice sounds quite croaky. I have kind of a sore throat and a little bit of some sniffles going on, and also, as I'm sure that you can see, I woke up with a huge zit almost right in the middle of my forehead. <coughs> I kind of look like a unicorn. And apparently, I am old enough to have six small children running around in my house, um, but not quite old enough to be finished having random huge zits appear, <laughs> appear on my face every now and again. So, I've tried to cover it up with some concealer, but um, it's huge. I don't really think there's any disguising it. So we've had a bit of a slow morning. Um, I think Suri is feeling a little bit better and so is Malachi. The baby and I, right, you're feeling fine? We feel better. Yeah? Well, I had a stuffy nose. They were fine. <laughs> they were not sick. Um, <laughs> Anyways, we're having a bit of a slow morning. I think it usually takes me a little bit longer to get over things just because I'm still not getting a full night of sleep most nights. Shiloh still wakes up once or twice to come into bed and nurse and just have some milk and she goes back to bed really quickly but I think just being woken up several times at night um, kind of knocks my immune system down a little bit more than if I wasn't breastfeeding at night still. Um, so I'm still feeling a little bit rubbish this morning. Um, and we're just moving slow. But we have done all our jobs. Malachi is doing his English upstairs. The little girls are working at the table. And so we've been cleaning up because the physiotherapist is coming to see Shiloh this morning. Um, and I think she's going to be bringing a standing frame for her to try out. Last time she came, Shiloh was still a little bit too small um, to go in it, but I think she is getting big enough that she she might fit in it soon, and it's something that they've said is, there you go, there's more pepper. Something that they've said um, is important for her hip development especially, and just to sort of get her upright for just a little while each day, like a half an hour. But yeah, so she's coming, we're cleaning up for that. Last time the physio came, um, no way. The physiotherapist took her shoes off at the door, which was really nice. Um, and then when she went to leave, we couldn't find her shoes. And no way, who was three at the time, she's now four. But no way had taken them and hidden them and we couldn't find them anywhere. And we looked and we looked, and after like 10 or 15 minutes of no way giggling and being really cheeky and not telling us where they were, I finally was like, no way, you not tell me where they are, you're gonna be in trouble. Um, and it was really embarrassing. Anyways, we finally found them and she had taken those shoes and hidden them in a bush behind our garage. Um, so now when the physio comes, she keeps her shoes on. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Do you want some? What's it for? Um, for your throat, that's why it's quite good. For your throat.
Therapist left a little while ago and we've had lunch and cleaned that up and I'm starting my big clean um the rain stopped, the rain stopped. Uh -huh. that was a really fast one but it went really well um she gave Shiloh a little standing frame that you saw which I was actually a little bit nervous about just because I've only seen one or two online on other people's YouTube videos and I didn't really know what to expect or what it was gonna look like and it is quite, it's quite a big scary looking bit of um, I guess medical equipment but Shiloh actually loved being in it when we put her in you kind of have to strap around her hips and pelvis to help um, secure her in place she got up there and it has a little table and um, a lid that you can kind of take off and put, there's a bowl underneath that you can put like sensory sort of um, things in and she loved it. She stayed in it for about 15 minutes um, and then we got her back out again but I was really pleased and even the physio said that Usually kids scream the first couple times that they go in it and she just loved it. She really really loved being up and it's actually a little bit strange seeing her in such an upright position and we were all just shocked at how tall she looks um, because she still can't crawl um, she can really only sit on her own so we're just used to seeing her sitting or lying down um, but yeah she just she loved it so that's pretty exciting we're only going to be using it for her for about 15 minutes twice a day um, is what the physio suggested so that's what we're gonna do but yeah we're just excited um, to have something else that can maybe help her um, and the appointment went really well so now I need to go and start cleaning my house and my zit is well and truly out to play now <laughs> so sorry that you have to look at that <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Well, so much for cleaning the windows. We are having a bad hearing aid and glasses day and I really don't know what to do about it. Um, yeah, if any of you know how to keep hearing aids and glasses on a baby, 
please let me know because I just cannot keep them in for more than like 10 minutes. This morning when we were doing homeschool, I sat and I just sat right next to her while I was reading to the girls and helping them with their math because she honestly takes them out like every three seconds and it takes a little while to put them back in. So they are out now. I've tried my hardest today and I just, yeah, I, I have to do other things. So I'm going upstairs right now because my first job for getting this flat ready for our inspection is I've got to clean spots off the carpet. We've got a couple stains upstairs. I'm not really sure who puts cream colored carpets in rental properties. I think that wouldn't be my first choice, but we have cream colored carpets um, all through the upstairs and you know we try really hard we are renting this house right now um and yeah so that's why we have a flat inspection but we try really hard to take really good care of any of the flats or houses that we've rented in the past um you know if we just like if we were renting it to someone else we kind of put a lot of work into keeping them up well but the reality is with six kids um, and cream carpets you get stains every once in a while that needs to be cleaned off. So that is my first job. And we also do need to do some painting on the walls because kids touch walls and yeah, we just, we just paint over them at this point. Um, so I'm going to do that. I get a little bit, a little bit anxious about our flat inspections because they are quite thorough these days. At our previous flat, the lady was super nice and she used to just come in and she would stand like walk right into the hallway and just say is everything okay is there anything you need to tell me about and that was pretty much it this time round with this new house we have there's a man that usually comes to do it and he comes and actually takes very detailed photographs of everywhere in our house which i understand you know the the landlord is is wanting to make money and make sure that her house is well kept i'm sure that we would do the same but our landlord although she is a nice lady she just um is quite particular and she doesn't have any children she was really keen for a family to be in this house which is why we were able to get it but i think she just she just doesn't really understand what that means yeah it just makes me a little bit nervous um when we have a big flat inspection coming up. So I've got a lot of cleaning to do and a lot of painting to do. And Anna will be home from school soon. But what do you need painting to do? We've got to paint the walls a little bit. Oh, Are yeah. you going to help? Yeah. Can I help open it? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Helping her. Shiloh is having a little bit of watered down orange juice with some vitamin C and probiotics. Because we are stuffy girls. Yeah. <laughs> Ayana's home. Guess what I've been doing? What? While well, you've been at school. Mm. We have to clean the flat. Because we have a flat inspection. When? The day after tomorrow. That's my birthday. It's not your birthday. It's the day we're having your family party. It is the day you're having, we're having your family party. But on a good note, the house will be really clean for your party. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I got a lot of carpet spots clean, which I am very happy about. And we are about to make dinner. Carlo will be finished with his work soon so that'll be really nice because he can come out and join us i need to take some more stuff for my throat because that's getting kind of sore but we're gonna make some dinner now aren't we yeah yeah what are we having um fish i'm going to try and get rid of this cold my zit has grown to great proportions um feels like it has roots down into my very soul now so <laughs> hopefully that 
towels go away soon. I don't like having big spots on my face. Thank you for watching.